morning to one and all i'm nani anila working as assistant professor in jamal mahmood college today i'm going to explain a topic about production of bio fertilizer first one definition of bio fertilizer so bio fertilizer is a formulation of living microbes and that fixes their atmospheric conditions so by living freely in the soil it have a capacity to work symbiotically with the plants and fix their atmospheric nitrogen basically it is a cost effective and it is relatively inexpensive to buy most of the organisms that are solvently used in the bioenergent preparation are nitrogen fixing soil bacteria example acetobacter and rhizobium species nitrogen fixing cyanobacteria specifically anadena species and phosphate solubilizing bacteria pseudomonas species then uh, particularly am fungus that is mycorrhiza that is bio fertilizer significantly enhance the microbial process to increase the bio availability of nutrient by using a soil fixing bacteria we can increase the nutrient availability to the plant in the form of that the plant can assimilate so the bio fertilizer have a low cost and play an essential role in supporting soil health and minimizing environmental pollution for using this as a bio fertilizer we need a inoculant carrier so the most of the inoculant carriers should possess these qualities that is non toxicity good moisture absorption capacity free lump forming material easy to sterilize inexpensive easily available and good buffering capacity see this <coughs> see this is a simple diagrammatic representation of bio inoculants used in a plant see the first one is cytospore production that is increased ion uptake increased ion nutrition and increased ion accumulation so by using this bio inoculants and these process will taken out then increase in n nutrition that is nitrogen and increase n uptake nitrogen uptake and increase n accumulation so ion nitrogen and most of the phytochrom phytohormone productions example indole acetate acid acetic acid and zeberlin ethylene abscisic acid and cytokines these are some of the phytohormones that are intake by plants for the growth of good yield and nutrient solubilizing that is phosphate solubilization gem solubilization and the potassium solubilization and these all nutrients can uptake by the plants with the help of rhizobacteria see here the process we have given first one is isolation and screening method then in this we have so many type of assays that is molecular identification then acetylene reduction and phosphorus solubilization then we go to cultivation that is using media we have to do a mass production that is large scale production so by formulation liquid formulation is first taken and we have to take a granules and powder the soil formulation and application to the field include a foliar spray we can spray or used with the irrigation field or in soil amendments that is we can mix the bio inoculants with the soil or heat coating so these are four types we can use a bio fertilizer as in any one of them so we can do for soil spray or irrigation or soil amendments and heat coating so these uh, inoculants adding into the soil or a plant we need some of the methods that is mining carrier like seeds is mined drained and the cleared of stone fruits etc then drain process then the carrier materials is shed and dried milling so milling is nothing but after that pass the seed through a heavy mill seed is generally used to used as a soil inoculant it is preferably particular a particular size of 0.5 to 1.5 mm we can use coco peat neutralization this is then the neutralize the carrier by treating them with the precipitate of calcium carbonate that is cso3 which maintain the ph between 6.5 to 7 then last one is sterilization at last we sterilize the carriers so that they can be used as an inoculant inoculation into the field so here we have given some of the method of inoculation first one is seed inoculation and the soil inoculation are two standard inoculation methods that are prevalently used the soil inoculation involves direct mixing of bio inoculants into the sowing furrow along with the seed and seed inoculants are more popular technique that involves seed pelleting or coating with an inoculant so packaging finally the package the bio inoculants in a polyethylene bag 
of low density five to I mean fifty to seventy five mu and label each packet with the product of found in information like name of the product, type of the carrier, batch number, numer, DOE, and net quality and storage of instruction, etc. Each packet should be ISI DIS certified. Then final thing is storage. So they store the bioinoculant in a cool and dry place. So keep the bioinoculant ideally at the room temperature 15 degrees centigrade and pH should be 6 to 7.5. Thank you.